okay, now, if I'm forced, right, to look at my life for the first time, right, and now I'm, I done fell in love with myself, right, because I see what, I, man, I've been fighting for my mother, my brother, but my mother wanted to stay with my daddy, right, but everybody leave me. Right, I mean, my daddy used to beat my mama, man. I seen my daddy put some plows in his hand like brass knuckles and beat my mama till she fell out. I tried to jump on him, man. He knocked me down, man. And then he tried to drag my mama and put her in a lake. And she stayed with him. <laughs> she stayed with him. But, man, they saying that I said something and my family gone. <laughs> I mean, what I said, like, but... That's not torturing me. Like, I don't, that don't, like, because I'm looking, because, you see, you compare yourself to your God or your father. Or you read about him in a book or whatever, right? But I'm looking at my daddy receive all his love, and I'm looking at me receive all his hate. Like, I'm saying, man, are you saying that because I had to stop my father from killing my mother, and my brother and me that I'm the devil in the family. <laughs> Wait, but then hold up. What about when I got married at 19 years old and I told my cousin Wendy, she'll tell you when I was traumatized by my father. See, I got a witness. See, so, okay. Say if I had got angry like Jesus did and flipped over the money table when he saw them selling merchandise in his father's house. How about if I'd have did that in the in the civil courthouse in Seminole County when uh in, oh, no this was in the criminal courthouse because that's when I'm like wait a minute you see what I'm saying so when they put me up uh, before Judge John D. Woodard in the Seminole courthouse in the criminal courthouse in Seminole County, I was tripping then like, oh, but how about if I'd have flipped, went and jumped it? Cause I almost did it now, look at it. I almost did what Jesus did. But see, that's what I'm telling you. My childhood jumped in the way cause I had to save my son. Cause at the same time when I'm in court fighting for my, my truth, or well, fighting with my truth, my daddy was in court too, but when I was 12, see, my son was 12. My daddy was, um, I think he was 40 something, right? He was close to what the same age I was now. Cause he used to always tell me I didn't go to prison till I was 40 years old. And see, my daddy had told me, he say, now, nah. he say, now nah, you gonna see how I feel to be in prison. And I was like, man, I ain't going to prison, man. You see what I'm saying? Like, I kept telling them, like, listen, I'm in control of this. You think they are in control, but I'm saying, look, man, I've been setting this up since 1994. This is my exit strategy, man, to go to court. So now just imagine, man, if these people who wasn't jealous of me would have listened to me then they would be like, you are now, right? But they was they had their own understanding of the situation. Now, some of them really cared for me because they was the same as they always been. But then, see, now when I get mad, right? See, that's why I don't speak to people that I care for. See, if I care for you and I'm going through something, I can we can, we can fix a relationship that's not broken. So my mother used to tell me, if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. So I'm saying, now then I read the Bible and it tells me that I'm right because for, for what I believe, like why would I hurt my loved one with words when I saw my daddy do it? You see, my daddy used to call me a punk, a faggot, all that shit. And I'm like, See, so did he take, see that was bad shit. <laughs> Is that what I'm saying? Like, hey man, I can't sit here and make no lie 
what okay if you took ingredients right you making something and somebody left out a, a important ingredient right every time you make that that dish it's not going to taste taste like that original person's dish because they left out the secret ingredient now it's still going to taste good because they selling the recipe to you, right? But it's not going to taste as good as theirs, right? So now what I'm doing is, um, and see, I wrote this in one of my books. See, I can't remember what, what book it is because it's not a book. It's a conversation that me being a businessman um, started writing in volumes because I went and saw Harry Potter. See, I don't, I don't normally go see movies like that, right? But it, you know, it kept going on. I kept seeing the Lord of the Rings because every time we do a movie, I'm talking about black folks, right? <laughs> or, um, well, no, because see, that's why I like Ice Cube, right? Because he started as a series, like a Friday series. And I saw that, but I was like, man, that's a businessman. Like Master P, you know what I'm saying? I always respect that brother, you feel me? Like Master P, Ice Cube, you know what I mean? Jay-Z, I respect brothers that take the game and then build on the game. You see what I'm saying? Because if you stay where you at, then you ain't controlling where you supposed to be. Right, because you can't get there because you ain't controlling where you at. See, a real player play. See, pretend players pretend to play. And that's why the game gets stalled, the movement gets stalled, because fake players pretending to play a real game. And real players see when they get to a position, but they by themselves because they making real moves in real time. 